What's up? What's up, you guys? Chris Record here in front of the Techademics corporate headquarters, and of course, sitting in front of your 1968 Chevy Camaro. Uh, wanted to remind you that there's a contest happening where you can walk away with this car, of course. So today I want to talk to you about commissions, I want to talk to you about Camaros, and I want to talk to you about e-com conversions. And so we're going to make this quick, it's going to be a fun little message, of course, if you haven't seen our 25,000 square foot corporate headquarters, here it is, we've got the entire building, it's not shared or anything, got everybody in there, and don't mind me parking in handicap parking, sorry about that, but it's our own office building, if somebody comes, I'll move, just wanted to get it right here in front for you. So. Let's talk for a little bit. Okay, commissions. First things first. This month, June, is going to mark the month where we introduce a brand new compensation plan for Techademics. A brand new compensation plan. It's going to be exciting. We are going to roll something out. Details are coming soon, but we're going to make sure you get paid as an affiliate. So for those of you that are currently making sales with Shopify, Imagine in the very, very near future, you're going to be able to take screenshots of your sales. Instead of just posting them here in your group, you can post them on your Facebook wall, on a page or something like that. And then people are going to say, how on earth are you doing that? And you're going to be able to come in and refer them to a brand new sales funnel that we put together to be able to earn commissions. It's going to be awesome. Our goal is for several of you to add an additional $10,000 a month in commissions on top of your Shopify income. Okay? This is powerful. It's like an earn while you learn concept. We want you to make money on the affiliate side and we want you to make money on the e-com side. You're gonna have the opportunity to do both. Big commissions are coming soon. Stay tuned for that announcement here in June. The next is the Camaro. Obviously, a 1968 Chevy Camaro. As you can see, it's wrapped. We've got the Techademics logo right there in the front. A lot of you have been asking about this car, so I wanna clarify some of the details uh, regarding this, okay? All you've gotta do with your Shopify store is generate $10,000 in sales. Now. That doesn't necessarily mean $10,000 in profits, $10,000 in retail sales. We're measuring this through our 90-day Ecom Challenge app. So if you are in this group right now, if you're watching this training, if you do not have our 90-day Challenge app installed, we cannot track your sales. You're not in the running for this. As long as we can track your sales, you have literally an extended date, I'm gonna tell you in a minute. You've got to generate $10,000 in sales with your store, which we don't even get a piece of, and we're gonna take everybody that's generated $10,000, we're gonna have like a live raffle at our event in August. We're gonna pick somebody and pick a winner. So you have up until August 25th, okay? We've extended this until August 25th. So you have until August 25th, uh, 2017, to generate $10,000 in retail sales with your Shopify store. From April 1st to August 25th, we went ahead and extended it because we wanted to give people more time and we're adding more prizes. We've actually extended a couple of levels on the low level and on the high level. So we got some cool stuff. We've made that a couple days ago. We went into detail, so I want to go, don't want to go into too much. But this car right here is going to go to one of you. Fully paid for. Look at this. It's got an orange wrap on it, blue interior, got the blue stripes on it. It's got that American muscle, 1968 Chevy Camaro. And if you win it and you don't want it, then you can sell it, okay? It's got a good cash value. Collectors' cars like this sell very, very, very well. Okay, the last thing I wanna talk about, we'll get this Techademics right here in the background, gotta get the branding in for today. Last thing I wanna talk about is conversions, okay? Conversions, your e-com store conversions. Now listen, if you have been with us since the beginning and you're not making sales yet, if you have not been making sales yet, I'm gonna give you some straight talk right now, okay? I'm gonna tell you something, and it may not be what you wanna hear, but I'm gonna tell it to you anyways. If you're not making sales, try something new. Do something totally new. If you've been going at this for like longer than a month or two, or you've been advertising, if you spent hundreds of dollars and you're not making sales, chances are that the product you're trying to sell and the audience you're trying to target is not working. What you need to do is you need to create something new. Okay, go after a new audience, go after a new product, experiment, get out there, try something new. Okay, go in, try something new. Now, go back to the training, make sure you got the right training, but try something completely new. Get in a completely different niche. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to keep experimenting, keep experimenting, try something new for a few days, try something new for a few days. Here's what I did when I first started building up my fan page network, I built fan pages into the hundreds of thousands by getting one penny per fan. I was buying fans at a penny per fan using Facebook ads. But my first dozen or so pages that I tried didn't work. It was costing like 20 cents per fan or 10 cents per fan. I had to change several times until I finally found a niche 
and found an audience where I could buy fans for a penny a piece, okay? It took me forever to be able to do that. Several different fan pages. Had I stuck and tried to make it work with a fan page, I would raise my hand and said, this doesn't work. It just didn't work for me. I tried, I failed. But instead, I pivoted. I switched to a different niche. I tried, failed, switched to a different niche, tried, failed. Finally, I found one that works. That's why we recommend having a flex store, a general store, having a store that's flexible. It allows you to have a lot of different products. This allows you to try, maybe try some kitchen appliances, maybe try some custom jewelry, maybe try some print on demand clothing, maybe try getting into a really, like a little sub niche, like maybe like motocross or something. That's just the first thing that came to my mind. Getting into a very specific niche. All you need is a category on your general store. Go find some cool products and then make a run at it, okay? Now, if you haven't made a sale, the straight talk today is switch it up. A lot of people say, stick at it, stay in the game, just keep trying, it'll work. You know what, the best thing to do is to pivot and try something new. Keep experimenting, keep switching it up, keep making moves because you know what? You're only one idea away from having a product that pops and that product can generate thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Don't get stuck on something that's not working. Be ready to transition and pivot to a new product. And if you do, generate $10,000 in your store, of course, we've got this nice little bonus incentive for one of you. And it's not just this car. We've also got a Bora Bora trip. We've also got $20,000 in cash. Got some ton, tons of cool prizes. So with that being said, I just wanted to be quick today. I want to come at you with a little straight talk and a little motivation. Pivot, try something new, pivot, try something new. Keep getting out there, keep expanding your mind. You're gonna get better each time. You're gonna learn from your failures and grow. But just don't try to beat the same thing over and over and over, trying to force a sale out of it. Maybe the audience isn't good, maybe the product isn't good, and you're trying to beat it up, you're trying to beat sales out of it, and it's not gonna happen. Transition, pivot, make it happen. You could do it. So with that being said, Peter, why don't you give one more tour of the car? Uh, and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on the 90 Day Challenge. We're going to keep coming at you every single day with some motivation, inspiration, knowledge, and education to be able to take you to the next level. All right. Peace.